Hey guys, what's up? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog, and right now I'm parked not far from the place where I used to work my full-time job uh, just less than a year ago. And I've sort of been thinking a little bit lately about the subject of quitting your job, and specifically for those who do want to quit their job someday, how much money do they need to have saved up in order to do that safely and comfortably? And I think it's a really good question, it's something I thought about a lot before I quit my job. And I think if you're working your real estate business the right way and if you're doing it long enough, it's just a matter of time before quitting your job is the only next move you can make because your job is basically the bottleneck and it's getting in the way of the progress of your real estate business. So if and when you get to that point and you're trying to decide you know, how much do you need to save up before you quit? I think there are three things just to keep in mind. First thing would be, I think if you're running a side business of any kind, whether it be real estate or something else, if it's the kind of business that's actually gonna be successful, then it should be throwing off some amount of cash before you quit. And, and there should be some fairly strong indicators that it's doing well and it's growing and it's ultimately gonna be a self-sustaining long-term solution for you. So I know like, for example, when I quit my job, for several months beforehand, I was basically earning more than a double income between my job and my business. And I wasn't spending any of the money for my business. I was literally just stashing it away and saving it up. And I think when you're running a business that's gonna work and be sustainable over the long term, that's the kind of thing you should probably see before you pull the plug on your job. So if you're gonna jump into your side project full time, and it's not already putting out some pretty serious revenue for you, that's something that you might wanna be concerned about and just sort of think uh, think twice about before pulling the plug and leaving your job. Because if it's not throwing off enough cash that you're able to save up a substantial amount fairly quickly, then maybe you just need to give it more time or maybe the business idea itself isn't really mature enough or ready or, or even appropriate to depend on over the long term. So that's the first thing, is just being aware that if your business is gonna work, it should be fairly reasonable to expect it to be throwing off a lot of income on the side, even if it's like half of what your day job earns. If you're not spending any of it, it shouldn't take long for that to accumulate and for you to build up a slush fund to fall back on. The second thing I'd encourage you to think about is to look at your business almost sort of like from a removed third-party perspective. If you were an investor and you were gonna invest your money in somebody, would you invest that money in yourself? Do you really believe in what you're doing to the point that you'd be willing to throw your money in that and lose it all if it all went wrong? Because that's essentially what's going on in a very real way. And if you're not confident enough to do that, then I don't know, it may be worth reevaluating whether you believe enough in your project in the first place. Because if you don't really believe in your own project enough to do that, then it may not be time to roll the dice and actually try to do that in the real world. The third thing I think you should just be aware of and think about is the fact that when you quit your job, it's, it's like a major life disruption. Even if everything goes perfectly and you sail into self-employment with no issues or revenue problems, it's still just a big life change and there's a lot of things that shift very quickly. I think in, in the instances where things do go sideways and where self-employment does not end up working out for people, it has the potential to be a fairly traumatic event if it's not handled correctly. What I mean by that is if you sense that your business is starting to go downhill and that it's not going to work out, I would encourage you to make the necessary moves to correct the problem, whether that means getting another job or going back to the drawing board in some way or, or, or just building up some other source of revenue. Don't wait until things have just gone horribly wrong to do that. I mean, try to have some foresight and see what's coming down the pike. Leave enough fuel in your tank. If you do decide to leave your job and pursue a dream, leave enough fuel in the tank so that if it doesn't work out, 
you can go back to the drawing board and maybe another two or three years from now, you can try to hit it again with a different approach or a different business. It really is an awesome thing when you can do your own thing and run your own business. But if you let things really get to the point where they hurt you, you're gonna be too scared or too traumatized to ever go and try it again. And that's the place that I don't ever want you to get to. I, I want you to be able to take that leap of faith without having some past terrible experience or, or memory of how things went the first time I tried it. Those are my ideas and just thoughts when it comes to how much to save up before you quit your job. I think the number and the answer is probably different for everybody. I would say obviously the more you can save up, the better. It's just going to help decrease the anxiety and give you something to fall back on. So, I mean, in my mind, I didn't want to have anywhere less than six months of savings uh, saved up, preferably a year. And I think if you can do more than that, great. But I also realize that that's not necessarily the perfect answer for everybody. And there are some people who can make it happen and, and replace their day jobs income a lot faster than others, depending on the business and, and, and the circumstances of their situation. And if you've got a legitimate business that's running on the side and building up income that you're not siphoning off from, from your savings account, it shouldn't theoretically take all that long for you to build up a pretty sizable nest egg uh, to live off. I mean six months worth of your living expenses I don't think should be that much to ask if your side project is building up enough enough income on its own So those are my thoughts. I hope you found that helpful for whatever it's worth and uh, I wish you all the best if you're in that position and be smart about it Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon